Welcome back to Get Down to Business, the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. I am thrilled to be joined by Jonathan Federa, who is joining us to talk a little bit about some financing. I know Jonathan has been in the business financing world for 14 years and has helped thousands of entrepreneurs get over $500 million in funds. He founded Integrated Business Financing, a small business lending marketplace that specializes in getting businesses into the best financing programs that they qualify. But perhaps most importantly, Jonathan uh, lives in Tampa with his wife and two kids. Uh, has a couple of hobbies, which we'll talk a little bit about. But Jonathan Federer, welcome to the program. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I'd love to get to know the person behind the microphone. Can you tell us uh, just a little bit about how, you know, sort of who you are and how you became so passionate about small business? Yeah, of course. Well, um, I grew up in a uh, very large household. And uh, most of my family worked on Wall Street. And um, I tried it out. I hated it. You know, the commute was terrible. And um, I got just randomly fell into lending. And the more I got to know small business owners, the more I loved the space. And when you really break down how important small business is to our country, it is the lifeblood of what we do. It provides more jobs than anything else. So the health of our country depends on the health of our small, you know, health of small business. And that's why I am so passionate about what I do. Absolutely. Well, I hear the passion in your voice and that's, uh, that's great. And we want to, you know, sort of share a little bit about your own firm, but also uh, some of the advice that you've experienced along the way. So actually just a couple of hours ago, I was speaking with a handful of small businesses or aspiring entrepreneurs, I should say. And I'm really curious, you know, everybody sort of has different vantage point in, uh, of this, but when you decide you've got the next grand business idea, what's the first steps? How should you start a successful small business? That's, this is an awesome question. And it's so awesome because a lot of this stuff is not taught in school. Yes, you need a business plan. Yes, you need to figure out, speak to an accountant, get the legal entity set up. Right away, you should start building business credit. But a lot of what you learn on how to uh, run and operate a small business su successfully isn't taught in school, right? It's like doing your taxes. They don't teach you that in school. So how do you learn? You have to go and network. And I learned more through YouTube and more through hands-on experience than you'll ever learn in a classroom, right? So have that business plan ready, make sure you're well capitalized with the right types of financing, make sure you build out your business credit because the truth is what no one tells you is it's gonna be very hard to get money if you run out in that first year. So that first year, and that's why most businesses fail. That first year is crucial in how are you getting your customers? How are you treating your customers? What is the word of mouth that you are generating because your clients love you, because you go above and beyond, right? Because sure. all you need is one client. You can turn one client into two, two into four, four into eight, and so on from there. But if you're not structured properly, if you don't have the necessary cash to get through that ramp up period, if you're not set up with the right payment processing, if you're not set up, if the business isn't structured properly, it's going to be a very uh, tough patch to get through. Definitely. Again, I'm chatting with Jonathan Federa, uh, the president at Integrated Business Financing, as well as so many other titles, including the co-host of, of the successful podcast, Creating Success Out of Failure, best-selling co-author of Startup Legends, creative, creator of Capital Gains, and FinTech Consultant. So, Jonathan, I want to I want to talk real. I want to talk about uh, about the behind the scenes. You know, a lot of people think of entrepreneurs as these mighty warriors that never have any failure. But, Jonathan, I, I think I feel comfortable enough talking to you. Can you tell us about some of the uh, sort of the biggest setbacks that you personally have had in your small business journey and how you overcame them? Man, that, that's, that's a, an awesome question because you're right. People have that perception. And the truth of the matter is most business owners have failed so many times, they just don't give up, right? And well, most of my mistakes revolved around partnerships, okay? Not the current partnerships I have now, obviously. It was going to battle with the wrong partners, okay? I had one partner that uh, we had a very, very successful lending firm, and uh, he was embezzling. I had another partner that was uh, someone that had all the knowledge the tools and the resources, but never actually applied them to the business. So my biggest thing is equity will always cost you more than debt. I don't say that because I have a lending firm. I say that because I've had and made those mistakes in the past. And a lot of people choose and decide to pick a partner 
because they like that person. They haven't actually worked with that person in the past. So my personal setbacks have revolved around trusting the wrong people, getting into business with the wrong people. And a lot of times it'll take you six, 12, maybe even two years to figure out, hey, this isn't a match. Because eventually what happens is one person does way more than the other one, and then you start feeling feelings of resentment. That and not having a true team behind you. When you build out a team that has the same core values and you create a great company culture, you can move mountains. Definitely. Again, I'm chatting with Jonathan Federa, and one of the things that I think um, is kind of a, a, a mystical uh, piece over here of starting a business is financing. And I know that's something where you've developed your subject matter expertise in. And I'm, I'm really, really curious over here because uh, so many people think like, oh my gosh, I'm going to walk into a bank. I'm going to face rejection. But I've heard you talk on previous podcasts about how you could actually get the best financing possible without yeah. ever stepping foot into a bank. Can you tell us a little bit about sort of the behind the scenes and the things that entrepreneurs that might be tuning in need to know, need to know capital of, of that need um, regarding business financing? Absolutely. So one, there are different programs, okay, designed for different business needs. Okay. And a loan is not the end all be all. Okay. Every business needs a line of credit. If you're B2B, you probably want to set up invoice factoring. There's a lot of different programs that will help you build your business properly. Right. So one, going to the right place, a bank does not have all those programs available to, to their clients. Two, you need an actual expert that can guide you based on the challenges that you're trying to solve in your business. What is the right program for that? And then three, you have to understand what underwriters are looking at. So everybody is always usually gonna be looking at time and business, credit, when I say credit, it's personal credit and business credit, cash flow. So when it comes to cash flow, how much is being deposited? How many deposits are going in the bank? What do the average daily balances look like? Um, what is their seasonality to the business? There's a lot of different things that come into play when you're doing this and then profitability like if you're trying to get an sba loan you need to show certain levels of profitability so you can service the debt same thing with equipment financing and the truth is most people don't understand all these little factors not just what the underwriters are looking at but what's the right program to solve that challenge in your business or what's the right program to help you grow and if you can find somebody that understands all those dynamics and has the relationships to get it done, you will grow by leaps and bounds, okay? Mm -hmm. You're gonna cut out a lot of the fluff, a lot of the rejection, and someone that can actually guide you through that process, that's what every business owner needs. Definitely, absolutely. So Jonathan, um, you know, real quick, we've got about a minute remaining, and I wanna make sure everybody understands what your team at Integrated Business Financing does and why they need to contact you. Yeah, so we, we have, we do a lot of internal underwriting, okay? We share, and we do a soft credit pool, and what we do is we actually consult with our clients prior to even speaking with an underwriter to let them know where they stand, what they need to work on. We can give them the resources to work on that, and then we go out and try to secure the program that is going to help them the most uh, to get the job done, all right? And that is a different approach, all right? A lot of these companies, even big banks, all right, what's your name, number, you're just the numbers there, right? Do you check all the boxes? If so, here's the one program we offer. Business should not work like that, okay? You can't build a house with just a hammer. You can't build a business with just a loan, all right? You need multiple tools to help you grow, to help you build. Well, that's great advice right there. Again, we're chatting with the man, the myth, the legend over here, Jonathan Federer. We've been chatting all about business financing, um, and it's about that time that I want to make sure we get our listeners over to your website, get people in touch with you so they could purchase a copy of the book, subscribe to your podcast. Uh, Jonathan, how can we get in touch? Absolutely. You can go to the website, www.integratedbusinessfinancing.com, or you could look up Integrated Business Financing on YouTube, or just follow me on, on social. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Jonathan Federa, F-O-D-E-R-A, pretty easy to find. 
Definitely. Jonathan, really appreciate you uh, sort of enlightening us on uh, financing. And I love that line of how to get the best po financing possible without stepping foot in the bank. I'm chatting with Jonathan, Jonathan Federa, definitely encourage everybody to check out Startup Legends as well as the podcast, Creating Success Out of Failure. Um, check out everything. Uh, Jonathan, just search his name and honestly, he pops up all over the place. Jonathan, appreciate you joining us. And uh, we're going to have to squeeze in a very quick break over here because we've got some headlines, some announcements. But when we come back, we are going to be joined by Jim Everhart, who's going to continue this conversation all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. You don't want to miss a minute of it, so don't touch that dial. You're listening to Get Down to Business, and we will be right back.